Welcome to Five News Tonight. I'm Claudia Liza Armar. They went to him for Botox injections because they wanted to feel better about their appearance. But Ozan Mellon's patients had no idea he'd lie to them about his medical training or that he'd inject them with substances that would actually disfigure their faces. Well, today, Mellon was jailed for four years for grievous bodily harm. His victims say they're pleased he can't attack anyone else and told our health correspondent Catherine Jones about how he'd preyed on them at their most vulnerable. Well, next to another shocking attack, this time on a 90-year-old pensioner assaulted in her own bed at home in London. Iris Warner is in a serious condition in hospital. Her family say they are stunned and sickened by what's happened, and they've released graphic images of her injuries, hoping they'll prompt the public to come forward with information that will help police catch her attacker. A warning, Dominic Reynolds' report does begin with those images, which you might find distressing. In the last hour, police have charged a man over the attack of another pensioner in Derby. Arthur Wozovich has been charged with the manslaughter. Now, there's been growing awareness about protecting our oceans lately, particularly with plastics and the devastating effects they could have on our marine environment. Well, today on World Oceans Day, the government's announced major plans for us to do our bit to protect our seas, with 41 new marine conservation zones protected from damaging activities like dredging or offshore development, as Ruth Liptrot explains. Watching Five News tonight, coming up. Hmm, find out after the break. Welcome back to Five News tonight. Now, with the World Cup just days away, excitement is building for the 10,000 British fans gearing up to head to Russia. But without wanting to dampen the mood, the Foreign Affairs Committee has issued a warning over their safety. As Peter Lane reports, it says fans making the trip could be at risk from racism, homophobia and anti-British hostility. You may find some scenes in this report distressing. Well, a little earlier, I spoke to Dyke Cunningham, who's from the organisation Pride in Football, who you saw in Peter's piece, and it represents, as he said, LGBT fan groups. Now, she's planning on going to the World Cup, and I asked her how cautious other LGBT fans going to Russia should be. 